Okay, uh, this is a program for the uh, TI-84. And uh, if you don't have a TI-84, you might be able to, well, definitely able to translate it into the language that your calculator speaks. But this one is the TI-84 language. Um, here we go. Let's share a screen. Okay, so just like before, uh, we want to name the program. And then we want to start with a clean screen. So we're going to tell it to do that. Then we need to describe what the program does and what kind of data we need uh, so that whenever you open it a month from now, you'll know, you know what it does. And then uh, we have to input the data. In this case, it's going to be about slope, so we're going to have to put uh, first point x and y and then the second point x and y. And then we'll do the math that gives us the um, slope and then we'll display the results. Hoorah! So let's stop sharing this screen. I lost my cursor. There we go. And we'll go to sharing the other screen. Okay, so remember that um, you've got your calculator, you turn it on, there's nothing there, and then you hit the program button. And lo and behold, you've got one program in there, the one we did last week. Yay! Uh, so now we want to arrow over, so we're just going to scoot over to write a new one, and then down to create new. Now then, um, we want to name it, and so we need it to be um, slope. So, um, whoops, where's my mouse? I lost my mouse. I'm going to stop sharing for a minute. I'm going to pause my recording if I can. There we go. Okay, now we're back. We're back. This time we're back with a mouse that hopefully will make it easy for me to do that. Okay, so we want to name it. And remember, it's already in alphabet mode. You can tell by the little A inside the cursor. So um, we're going to do slope. So S, L, O is on the 7. P is right next to it. E is right above it on the sign. There we go. That's what we want to call it. Program slope. And remember, the very first thing we want to do almost every time is clear, clear home. And so that's going to be number eight. So I'm just going to hit eight. And we're done. Yay! Now then, we want to tell it. We want to describe what's going on. So this is one of those where we're going to type something in for the calculator to um, spell it out on the screen. So we have to hit the display button. So that's number three. There we go. And then I'm going to spell it out. So I have to have quotation marks so that it spells exactly what I say. So we're going to say what we need, and what we need is two points. So the T is on the four, and then the W is on the subtraction, and then the O is over here on the seven. Remember down here on the zero, that's where the space is. So we're gonna hit space, um, and then points. So that's P, O, I, in is somewhere oh, so close in there we go t yes yay and then close it all righty then we want to display exactly what we want it to give us so we're going to hit program again over one to display 
down to number three. And once again, we want to say alphabet. Um, oh, we don't want it to be always in alphabet. Sorry about that. So the next one is just the plain old, um, so I have to take it out of alphabet. See, if I click this, you see the little A, it's an alphabet. Then you'll get the letter on top of the parentheses, but we want to get just the parentheses. So I click the alphabet again, and now there's no letter inside my cursor. So now I can hit the parentheses, then I say alpha A, then I hit the comma, then I say alpha B, then I hit the parentheses, then I want a space. So I do alpha zero, because that gives me the space, then back to parentheses, then back to C, then comma, alpha D, parentheses. Oh, look at me. I got something in there that I did not want. So I'm going to hit delete. And then I'm going to hit, what, second D, I think? Uh, alpha D, yeah. Then my parentheses, then my close um, alpha plus sign. Boom. Okay. So it's going to display that. Hallelujah. Now, if you remember from last time, the way you uh, input the data is uh, I'm going to put it in number two. So I'm going to hit prompt. And this puts all the data in at the same time. And so we need alpha A, comma, alpha B, comma, alpha C, comma. Uh-oh. Do you see what I did? Remember, when you do that, if you make a mistake, you just do second quit which is right above that one, stops all the way, go to program, uh, go over to edit, and then go down to number two. And it starts right where we were, so you don't have to worry about losing anything. It had saved everything you did up to that point. So we just arrow over to that spot, then we do alpha C, Somewhere, there we go. Then comma, then alpha, and then D. Yay, done. All right. Now then, um, we need to do some math. And so remember that when we find slope, we have to subtract the Y values. So we're gonna take B, alpha B, and then subtract alpha D, because those are the two, um, B is the Y value and D is the Y value. And then we have to store it away. So we're going to stow it right there. Stow it, and I'm going to put that in alpha Y, which is right there. Okay. And then I'm going to do the same thing with the X's. So I need parentheses, then it's A minus B. A minus C. Did I say B? Sorry about that. A minus. Look at me. I did it again. Second. Quit. And then go to program. Go over to L, edit. And then down to slope. And lo and behold, you haven't lost anything. It's right where we were. We were subtracting. And we wanted it to say... C. So I have to hit alpha. Okay, I'm in alpha. Now I'm in C. All right. Parentheses, we got to stow it away. This time we're going to stow it where the X is. There we go. Now then, um, we're going to divide these two values, y, the Y values divided by the X values. Um, so what we need is, because sometimes well, you know you can't divide by zero, right? So um, you've got to say if x is zero, you can't do it, right? You have to skip that little spot. So we're going to go over here and um, we're going to uh, put an if then sentence into our program. So if is right there on top. 
So we're going to say if, okay, and now what we're worried about is x equals zero. If we divide by zero, we got a problem. Y is divided by x. So we have to say x, which is this one right here. And then to find um, equal sign, the equal sign, you have to go up here above, the, see the math button? To the left there is test. So if you do second math button, then you have all the possible things, greater than, less than, not equal to, and equal to. Well, equal is what we want, so we're just going to hit that. If x equals zero, right, we, gotta, we have to let it say, oh, if I find x, oh yeah, is x equals zero? Then we have to go to um, a location in our program. We're going to skip a line. So we're going to say go to, which is in program, and then uh, I think go to is down this, this aisle. So I don't know exactly where, so we're going to find it. Oh, it's right there at zero. So go to, you can hit the zero, or you can, once I arrow down to it, I can just say go to. And now the line that we want it to go to is called, going to be called line number one. Easy. All right. Now then, once we have that in, then we can tell the calculator to do the math that um, is, was the problem before. So y divided by x. And then x, I said, I'm, oh, I'm not in alpha. y divided by x, there we go. And then close that parentheses. And now we want to store that in the memory location for slope. And like when we do lines, mx plus b, m is the slope. So we're going to put it into m. So the m is on top of the divide. There we go. Hallelujah. Okay. So we did not divide by zero here because we told this to uh, skip this line. If x is zero, we're going to skip this line and we're going to go down to the place where label one is, right? So, um, so let's see. Now we can say um, display. I think that's what we want. Yeah. So we're going to program display. Where's my display? All right. So we have to program. That's number three. And we're going to tell it what to say. So we have to do second alpha plus sign. Whoops, I didn't get second alpha. Second alpha. There we go. Now we want to spell slope. Otherwise, we won't know what we found. Right? S L O. Whoops. Time is slipping away. S L O. O is on top of the seven. Uh, and then P. And then E is up here. There we go. And then we'll put this little guy right here. And then we'll say is. So is is I S. S right here. Oh no, N. No, I want S. There we go. Slope is. All right, then enter. Oops, whoops. I, um, yeah, that's right. So now I have to say if x is zero, don't write the slope because it'll be all confused. So I'm going to hit program and then if. If I said my computer's being slow, and then alpha x, and then second math, and then zero, and then we're going to go to, which I remember was at zero, and then we're going to say two. Uh -huh. Now then, 
uh, now we can display our answer. So we're going to display display what is that uh, three. And now we want m because that's where our slope is. M. And uh, usually slope is a fraction, so we're going to tell it to change our answer because m is going to be a decimal. We want to change it to be a fraction. So I hit the math button and then I hit enter. So the very first thing in the math button is fraction. Let me do that again so you can see. If I hit the math button right there, see that's fraction. And then I put it in there. Huh. Change my fraction to a fraction. I got it in there twice. So we don't want that. Let's get rid of it. I'm going to hit the delete. There we go. Math is fraction. Now I can say label two. Oh, look, I forgot to put label one in there. Otherwise, it is going to mess up. Right? Uh, go to one, do that. Okay. So this is not as. Uh, okay, so I'm going to insert. Second, insert. And then program. And then label, which is number nine. One and then enter. There we go. That's what I needed. Now I can go down here and say label um, two because we've got it made now. So program. Come on. It's extra slow today. Nine label two. There we go. Ha ha ha. Now well, let's see if it works. Okay. Well, I think it will. We'll find out. So to see if it works, you do second quit. All right. We hit the program button to see if it works. You have to hit the program button. First one finds distance and midpoint. This one is going to find slope if we did it right. <laughs> okay. Uh, what are the two points? Okay, so let's do one we know. So if I started at 1, 1, and I went over 1 and up 1, I would land at 2, 2. And it tells me the slope is 1. Hey, we did it right. Okay, so let's do one that's a fraction, because that's the coolest part of it. So I hit enter again, and it just keeps going. All right, so we'll do three and I don't know, one. And now then if we go over three, that means the six. And then let's go uh, down two, that would be negative one, okay? So we went over three down two. And lo and behold, the slope is over three down two. Ha, 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 ha. We are happy little campers. All right, that should be it. Let's see if we were, um, see if I kept recording. Yes, I did. So now I can stop the recording.